no stranger to this town. No. I've been on stage here many, many times. Too many times to count. But this is the most important stage I've ever been on. And let me tell you, it has never felt <laughs> the way it does tonight. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you. The energy in here is just electric. Can you guys feel it? Can you feel it? It's amazing. This look, the election is just five days away, and there's so much at stake. The choices facing America now are monumental. And you guys have made this place a city where dreams come true, where people from all walks of life have planted a flag in hopes of creating a better future for themselves and their families. And you are the ones who are going to send the message that Nevada is Harris country. Kamala Harris is running for the people who dream, for the parents working overtime, the kids studying by streetlight, the teenagers practicing in the basement. She's the only candidate that wants to raise the minimum wage and make college more affordable. Keep the Department of Education and even put a teacher in the vice president's job. On the other hand, her opponent wants to kill the Affordable Care Act and eliminate the Department of Education. Right now, we are on the brink of an election that demands a choice. A choice between backwards and forwards, a choice between the past and the future, a choice between divided and united. And if you are anything like me and you value the idea that in this country, any child from any background can not only work their ass off to bring their dreams to life and be able to do so with dignity and respect for their neighbors, then it isn't much of a choice at all. Whether you're from Castle Hill in the Bronx, yes, baby, <laughs> or Sunrise Manor in East Las Vegas. <laughs> We all want a world where our kids feel safe and free and valued by their president. Because whoever leads this country matters. That's how we make the greatest America. Because I remember, I remember growing up thinking my president cared about me, cared about my parents, cared about my neighbors and my community. Not just some Americans, but all Americans. I believe that our kids and this wonderfully progressive, innovative, and inclusive young generation deserve that too. And it is in our hands. It's, in, it's our responsibility to provide that for them. You know, when I started in TV and film, I could get roles playing the maid or the loudmouth Latina. But I knew I had more to offer. And I think there are a lot of people in this country who feel the same way, who know that they are capable of more. And we all just want a chance to prove it. And elections are about choosing leaders who support that, not one who stands in the way. <laughs> Kamala Harris gets it. Raised by a hardworking mother in Oakland, California, working long hours, strict budget, made rent every month until they could buy a home, surrounded by a community of firefighters and teachers, nurses, construction workers, small business owners. I don't know, that sounds a lot like my upbringing. And probably many of yours. Kamala Harris gets it. I know as President of the United States, Kamala will fight for our freedom, the freedom of immigrants and immigrant families to chase the American dream, the freedom of workers to afford housing, education, food, and life's essentials, and the freedom of women to choose what we do with our bodies. I believe in the power of women. <laughs> Ladies, where are my 
see that. Let me hear you. Yes. You know, I believe that women, women have the power to make the difference in this election. I believe in the power of Latinos. Where are my Latinos at? I believe in the power of our community. I believe in the power of all our votes. I believe that together we are the difference in this election. I know that together we are the difference in this election. chose a career in law to fight for middle-class families like her own. From her start as a courtroom prosecutor to becoming the district attorney, then California's attorney general, then a U.S. senator, and now as vice president, she, she has only ever had one client, you, the people. And in each of those roles, she took on scammers who ripped off their customers, predators who abused women, and cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. There is no candidate in the history of the presidency that is more qualified, and there is no job that Kamala Harris can't do. Kamala Harris gets it. And that's what her policies are about. She will put forward an actual plan to make housing more affordable, to cut taxes for middle-class families, to help small businesses get a foothold, to expand the ch child tax credit, to fight inflation by cracking down on grocery monopolies, to take on those who rip off consumers. And what's that all about at the end of the day? It's about helping you get ahead. It's about you, and you, and you, and you, and you. It's about us, all of us. No matter what we look like, who we love, or who we worship, or where we're from. Her opponent, on the other hand, doesn't see it that way. He has consistently worked to divide us. At Madison Square Garden, he reminded us who he really is and how he really feels. It wasn't just Puerto Ricans that were offended that day, okay? It was every Latino in this country. It was humanity and anyone of decent character. Look, you, 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 I'm a lover, okay? You guys know that about me. I am a lover. I am not a fighter. I am not here to trash anyone or bring them down. I know what that can feel like, and I wouldn't do it to my worst enemy. Or even when facing the biggest adversary I think America has internally ever had. But over Kamala Harris's entire career, she has proven us to us who she is. She has shown up for us every day, for the people, and it's time for us to show up for her. It's time for us, it's time for us to all answer presente. <laughs> I am an American woman. I am the daughter of Guadalupe Rodriguez and David Lopez, a proud daughter and son of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican, soy Boricua carajo, and yes, I was born here, and we are Americans. I am a mother. I am a mother. I am a sister. I am an actor and an entertainer, and I like Hollywood endings. I like when the good guy, or in this case, the good girl wins. And with an understanding of our past and a faith in our future, I will be casting my ballot for Kamala Harris for President of the United States proudly. Proudly. You can't even spell American without Rican. <laughs> this is our country too, and we 
we must exercise our right to vote on November 5th. Please. And remember, somos una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Let's get loud! Let's get loud! I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional, but you know what? You know what? We should be emotional. We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. Our pain matters. We matter. You matter. Your voice and your vote matters. And, and look, don't be afraid to make people around you uncomfortable. Invite people around you to be the change, to go out there and vote. Nobody likes having tough conversations or talking about politics, but trust me, I've been in some of these rooms. I see the way power works in this country. They love it when you do nothing, okay? A non-vote is an agreement. It just makes it easier, easier for them to do whatever they want, whatever serves them. And this election is about your life. It's about you and me and my kids and your kids. Don't make it easy. Make them pay attention to you. That's your power. That's your power. Your vote is your power. Make a plan to vote early, okay? If you, if you have a mail ballot, sign the envelope, return it to any drop box in your county. It is too late to put it in the mail, okay? Tomorrow, Friday, November 1st, is the last day to vote early in person. If you can't vote early, Make a plan to vote on election day, November 5th. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Find a vote center or ballot drop box near you at willvote.com slash NV. I will vote. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will vote. You are absolutely right. I'm sorry. I got carried away. Let's do this, Las Vegas! <laughs> I am so proud of all of you for showing up today. Thank you so much. And it is my deep honor to introduce a woman who has the opportunity in just a few days to make history. The next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. <laughs> 